now is our friend John Radcliffe, uh, former director of national intelligence. John, welcome back. As always, I know you're a busy guy, but I want to give you another whack at this. I can't think of anything that all of President Trump's foreign policy advisors, including yourself, agree on, but now they all seem to agree uh, there were no balloons uh, during the prior administration. And I just wonder what your thought is. Um, did, uh, were there three times that balloons flew over? We just didn't know about it or we didn't see them or what? I don't understand this. Well, Larry, as you correctly uh, encapsulated, uh, every Trump, uh, former Trump administration official uniformly came out and said, this never happened. Nothing remotely close to what, what the American people witnessed for themselves uh, in plain sight ever happened during the Trump administration. And, and that's when you got these anonymous sources from the DOD saying, well, uh, there were three instances implying that uh, Trump administration officials were lying. But the Biden administration um, has changed its alibi almost by the hour. And now what they're saying is, no, 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 all of those Trump administration officials were telling the truth. This went undetected. Somehow the world's best intelligence enterprise never saw this happen. And only later did we, quote unquote, piece it together, uh, which is what they're saying now. And but, Larry, I, I, what I would caution you and, and others um, that have a platform to do is not take the bait and even talk about these instances that they're, that they're alleging are true, because even if you assume everything that they say about them uh, to be true, which I don't, they're not remotely close to what happened. What they, what they are saying now is that there were three instances, as they're calling it, where a balloon briefly transited, quote unquote, briefly transited a single state, Texas once and Florida twice on separate occasions. Unless and until, Larry, someone tells me or shows me how that uh, is remotely close to a transcontinental spy operation that went on for 100 continuous hours over four days with a flight path that went over ICBM sites, that went over the home of U.S. Strategic Command, that went over the home of the B-2 bomber, Whiteman Air Force Base, that went over Oak Ridge National Laboratories, and then finally left the country after it went over the ports of South Carolina, which would be important ports uh, that would be part of our supply uh, distribution network if there were ever to be a conflict with China over Taiwan. Um, so, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, unless and until the Biden administration um, has evidence that something remotely uh, similar to what just happened this week, um, I'm not convinced this is anything other than red herring uh, talk to try and distract from what I have said and continue to say was an unprecedented national security blunder. I don't think a foreign adversary of ours has ever put a spy craft in our territorial uh, airspace and for 100 consecutive hours at least violated that um, over uh, the continental United States. John Radcliffe, just let me ask a couple questions. Um, first of all, what would happen if we sent a balloon of any kind over China? Do you think they would react <laughs> to it? Do you think they'd let it go on for four, five, six, seven days? Well, uh, of course not. If, uh, let's use the same example and, and flip it around. If, if we sent a surveillance spy balloon and it entered China in uh, western Xinjiang province, and uh, by the time it got across the country to Beijing, President Xi would no longer be the chairman of the Chinese uh, Communist Party in the People's Republic mm -hmm. of, of, of China. Um, it would be a national embarrassment that... Um, uh, would have severe consequences, which is why I don't want people who, who laugh about the technologies of balloons and try and minimize this to not understand that it wasn't just 320 million Americans that were looking up in the sky and watching our number one adversary, uh, their spy craft slowly traipse across our country. Russia, Iran, North Korea, all of our adversaries were watching that and thrilled with the possibilities of what they might also accomplish during this administration um, if, if allowed, uh, this were allowed to happen again. So let me ask another question. What are the odds that Xi Jinping, Chinese Communist Party, deliberately sent this balloon, knowing full well it would be discovered, knowing full well it would cause a public hullabaloo? They did it to embarrass us on the world stage. They did it, John Radcliffe. You know why they did it? Because they could, and they knew they could. And that's the problem with American foreign policy leadership right now. We're letting these countries, these dictators, including Putin and so forth, do stuff because they could. And we won't stand in the way. Our first instincts are all wrong. 
What are the chances that she figured that out and just did it? What the heck, he'll say. You know what? I'll shoot a balloon up, they'll shoot it down, blah, 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 blah. But look how bad they're going to look. Well, they absolutely did it deliberately. Like I said, the flight path itself was calculated uh, to cover all of our national security interests. Um, so he absolutely did it deliberately, and I think the outcome um, was one that they wanted to see what would happen. So could it be embarrassment? Yeah, yeah. of course. Um, I, and I certainly think that, to your point, just focusing just on China, I mean, why wouldn't they, Larry? This is an administration that has not confronted them on one million dead Americans killed by a virus from China. This is an administration that has not confronted them on over 100,000 Americans who have died from fentanyl that has come from precursor chemicals that have come directly from China. Uh, the list goes on and on. The failure or unwillingness of the Biden administration to confront China about any national security concerns, why wouldn't you push the envelope? Why wouldn't you see how far you could get? And in this case, it's very possible, Larry, that they got both, that they accomplished a huge national embarrassment and an incredibly, massively successful intelligence surveillance operation. Um, how soon uh, before we might know or not know whether there's any intel in, uh, in those balloons? How soon? I mean, in a sense, John, I don't really care because they already have, the Chinese already have their personal intel machine, and that's called TikTok. But in terms of this balloon, um, I know the Navy's trying to fish them out of the water. How long is it going to take, you think, before we can figure that out? Or will the Bidens even acknowledge any of that? Yeah, I, honestly, I just don't know that we can trust whatever uh, information. My guess is that, you know, obviously everything you would hope would be would be classified. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it won't take long with whatever they are able to recover uh, to go through that. Um, but again, uh, what they their ability of what they were able to recover would have been greatly enhanced had it been taken down with a controlled descent over air instead of uh, having to fish it out from the bottom of the ocean and, and, uh, and be affected by that. So um, I don't think we're ever going to get satisfactory answers to that, Larry. Um, uh, and, you know, and frankly, I think that's not as important as, as what we all saw, which was um, a national security blunder uh, by the same administration that has, uh, you know, uh, uh, created a crisis, national security crisis at our southern border, um, you know, has uh, engineered and architect the worst uh, military disaster out of Afghanistan, uh, an administration whose sternly worded letters didn't do anything to, per to deter Vladimir Putin from invading Ukraine. And now China, as you correctly said, Larry, they've gotten away with everything. So uh, they're yeah. going to continue over yeah. the next two years uh, to push the envelope. Well, Biden did one thing that I guess is good. He united all of Trump's national security advisors. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> that was a joke, John Ratcliffe, just an element of humor in a very serious topic. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it very much.